Okay, so I thought I should make a quick video just to talk about some of the categories and things that he's going to want to use for his blog posts and also make corresponding uh, pages for these things as well. How about I just show you what I mean instead of potentially confusing you further? Let's see here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I just made this little list. You can see this here of different games, uh, gaming systems, that is. In fact, I'll make this as an overall thing, uh, systems, and then there's a games accessories, games accessories, systems, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll think of some other things as well, but for now this is basically it, all right? So all the systems that he's used in the past are the Xbox and I'm gonna have to oh it's GameCube I just thinking of it now so it's called the GameCube and I think that's one word the, he's also used the PlayStation 2 PlayStation 3 and of course the Wii Woo he's also used and has had a Nintendo DS as well as the new 3DS and DSi. I don't know if I can't remember if there's differences in DSi and just DS. I think, yeah, he's had all three. So his first one was a DS. Then we got on the DSi, which is, I don't know what the damn difference is, but it was a year later. Nintendo 3DS, and that's the one he has now, the 3DS. And also, I thought I'd put in categories for mobile because he's always on that damn phone. I wanted to get him a phone just so we could talk, right? or a connect if he has an emergency and I thought I'd you know I'll trick him into learning how to type by making sure that he has a QWERTY keyboard but of course my wife says well as long as we're getting him a QWERTY keyboard might as well be a smartphone so now that now he doesn't stop playing Angry Birds and all that crazy stuff so yeah sorry for the rant uh, so mobile we have um, Android iPhone and he's also got an iPod touch so maybe he can you know review some iPod touch games he does not have an iPad and he doesn't have a tablet so at this point I'm not going to include those uh, but he has played quite a few games on the PC and uh, and the Mac actually those things he typically plays are more web based so they're kind of like connected both PC and Mac but in the event that I can think of like a PC based game that he's played um, you know something he downloads other than uh, I don't know, Mavis Beacon Typing Tutor. I can't think of any that I might have had him play. Who knows? And then other uh, categories would be reviews, tips, tricks, and cheats. I don't know if he's ever run into cheats before or if he knows how to find them, but I'm sure it's a highly sought after search term. So maybe he can siphon some traffic from those who are looking for specific cheats. And uh, anyway, we can find some content for that. All right, so now my next steps are I'm going to simply make uh, these as uh, post categories for him inside the back end of WordPress. Now, if you know WordPress, you know that he can easily add these categories as we're writing blog posts. I just think that maybe the easiest thing for him would be for me to have them pre-set up and ready to go. So when he goes about creating a blog post or wants to make a video, all we have to do is, you know, click off a specific uh, category and then I think also this is a good map or a format for us to create uh, different pages with um, information for instance let's say um, I'm going to use a uh, a page all about Xbox 360 where we have the console uh, or the system name and a picture maybe we can find some links for where you can get the best deals on them and get, get some specifications and then also on that page I would link over to all the blog posts that have the category um, Xbox 360 and so uh, whether I include on that page um, just the title of the blog post or the title and an excerpt underneath it is yet to be determined but the point is I think that it's a really smart idea for us to create um, categories for blog posts with these key phrases and also pages 
all about these specific um, systems and then as I uh, can create uh, child pages for like the Xbox 360 with accessories and games for instance and then um, we might even put the reviews in a page format and then just use the blog posts as kind of like an, an ancillary component of the website and potentially this whole website will be driven by pages and so um, if I'm gonna do reviews then I'm gonna have to get some sort of a plug-in for star ratings uh, I know I'll, I like GD star ratings for that it's a free plugin um, I don't think I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, like a full-blown review theme with the review plugins with all the star ratings and and all that jazz I think I'm, I'm gonna keep it simple for now so all right I think that's enough for this video I'm just gonna go ahead and make these make these um, uh, categories and then some uh, template pages and you know skeleton wise and uh, we should have something to look at.